darkness in me You're not missing a thing You keep going and I'm just showing that I never stop the thing This field This is where I grew up This is where I was raised This is where my life began where it was before the accident. This, this is my father's rock. This, this is my father. He's the oldest stallion ever known. <coughs> Used to own a herd. But his herd was small and minuscule. Not much to really talk about. But still, he was my father. This is my mother, heavenly laden with me at the time. My father's favorite mare. Out of the two he owned, at least. She was the greatest brood mare alive, he used to say. I have so many brothers and sisters, but they all left, left the herd. This is the mare they call Goldenrod. She mothered my best friend. I've been related with him as well. <coughs> this, this was my home. Before, before everything bad happened. This was the homeland. Are you all right? It could be any day now, couldn't it? Any day at all. Of course it could be any day, you goose. I'll know when time comes. But... But what? I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you constantly. Please be alright. I can't really decide what happens, I'm afraid. But I promise that this fool survives. She or he will be your legacy. My legacy? Of course, you goose. He or she will carry on your name. They'll be known and be famous. How do you know? A priestess. She told me so. The stars have foretold it. The moon nearly cries it every night. This bull will save the wild horse. It will, I promise. I trust you. All these Darn tall grasses. Why can't we find a way to mow this thing? I swear we eat enough of it. It should be gone by now. Huh. <sighs> and like I said, my aunt, or my best friend's mother, had many different opinions than the rest of the herd. I swear we should move to a place where there's, like, something different. Something more normal. You were once a domestic horse. You're not used to things being bigger than you are. Everything was smaller than you everywhere you were. That doesn't matter. This grass is too tall. I can barely chew it before it gets over my head. I understand what you mean, but you need to understand as well. This is the wild. We have no control over things here. Well, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I don't want to raise my foal in this type of place. Ugh, not even square meals a day sometimes. You have weird notions, Goldenrod. I do, lad, and that's because of where I was raised. So, how's it coming along with you? Very well. My foals do any day. And so much has been prophesied over this one. I feel quite confident. It's good for you. Nothing's been prophesied over my foal. Nothing. My foal has the blood of a racer in his veins, might I add. A great thoroughbred stallion. 
I was a great racer myself until I put my leg out of it. And then you escaped. And then I escaped, but that doesn't matter, you see. I have things planned out. It's going to be perfect. Whatever you say, Goldenrod. I'm going to head out into the grass for a while. You enjoy yourself here. Are you sure you don't want me to come along? Positive. And so my mother left, moving nowhere, it seemed. She didn't know where she was going, but that time she knew. She knew it was her time. Ugh. I need to lie down. Just for a second. Just for a few minutes. And I'll be on my way again. That was when I came into the world. A scraggly black little foal. She's black. <laughs> Prophesied foals are never black. Black is a sign of ill luck. Get up, dear. Get up, my dearest little phantom. My ghost of the night. Get up. <laughs> Come on now. On your feet. Get up now. Come on. <laughs> Get up. Get up. The grass, it's so long. It will do that from time to time. Come on. I have to take you back to your father. Jack! Jack! Who goes there? It's me! It's Shadow. Finally, one of my mares has returned. Shadow! Shadow, are you alright? Of course I'm alright. I'm perfectly fine. Jack, I want you to meet your new foal. Phantom. My new foal? Phantom. Phantom is a mare name, is it not? Did I have a mare? I mean, did you have a mare? She's a fine filly. Brave and strong and gorgeous. She'll definitely carry on your legacy, Jack. All right. Bring her up here. To me. Here she is, Jack. Phantom. Hello, sir, father, hello. Let the skies hear me. Let the earth shake with my neigh, with my mighty roar. This fall will change history. <laughs>